All right, guys. So we're back here with another San Antonio Express episode. It is episode 17, and if you watched last episode, we are in the Super Bowl. Here is our squad right now. Um, this is going to be the first Super Bowl with Lamar Jackson, I believe. Uh, and yeah, you know, uh, so here's how the awards went. Sam Howell won the MVP again. Um, ooh, Lamar Jackson finishes third. Let's go. Let's go for Lamar. Um, we don't see Trevor Lawrence up there. Guy who betrayed us out of nowhere. Looking at the coaches. Ron Rivera finishes sixth only in the coaches. Okay. Well, let's go to the NFC Offensive Player. And Lamar finishes second behind Sam Howe. And the defensive Mile Jack finishes fourth. Let's go. Rookie, and oh, okay, Bud Hendricks. That's a, that's the guy who played for us that one game. No one on the defense, and then Lamar second. Expected that because the last awards. Let's look at running back, and Gibson finishes fifth in the NFC. Okay, that's that's solid, you know. Tara McLaurin finishes second. Let's go. Let's go. And then Jaden Blue actually finishes seventh, so that's pretty, that's pretty hype. Um, now O line, White Teller finishes fourth, and no one else. And then D line, Jonathan T Allen is on there. And then linebacker Miles Jack, yeah. And then DB. Derwin James makes it. Let's go. Okay, so we pretty much had everyone on one of the top ten in the NFC, all right? And even our kicker, Harrison Mavis. So here's how the bracket turned out. We are facing the Chiefs again. Um, we just beat the Cowboys last episode. And, yeah, you know, they're, they were the fourth seed in the AFC so let's see what could happen starting off the first play of the game with some double crossers and we get a decent pickup now give it to Gibson we find room on the outside and we get a nice chunk of yards there for a first down now we run it he runs that guy over let's go now we drop back to pass we see the imperfect throw by Lamar Gets a nice gainer. Now run it to Gibson. And he finds a hole. And we get in the end zone first. All the people who player propped Gibson. Uh, first touchdown. Good job. Now we see Terry McLaurin getting that. Nice play there. Uh, Terry McLaurin broke the coverage at the start of the play. Now Lamar scrambling right, and let's use his wheels. Let's, he gets a nice gain there using his speed. It's way too much room there. Now give it to Gibson. Good block by the O-line. Good job by the left guard there going up to the linebackers. And we see him wide open. Can he get in the end zone? Henry Ruggs scores the next touchdown. We strike the first two touchdowns of the year. So now... We, we set up a screen play. Gibson. Oh my goodness. Runs Tyron Matthew over. He just ended that man's career. Now we scramble. Right. We see Jaden Blue on the flag route. For a good gain. It is 14 to 7. First and 10. We scramble out right. And we get to the outside. And get a nice little 10 yard gain. He fumbles there. But we, we were out of bounds. And we send out the pullers, White Teller, run that guy over. Let's go. Almost getting the first down. Second and one, give it right back to Gibson. And he punches it in the end zone for his second touchdown of the game. And we get a stop, so we have a chance to make a nice lead here. Good catch by David Njoku. Lamar Jackson is absolutely balling right now. Crossers, hit up David Njoku again. On the crossers. And now run up the middle. Gibson sees daylight and gets down to the one. 
Can we punch in the end zone here? San Polo's and touchdown Gibson's third touchdown of the game so far. Gibson is going absolutely crazy. It's 28 to 7. And we get the ball back again. So Lamar, he goes out to scramble, gets oh my gosh, gets like a 25 yard gain about getting to the outside and all that. Pump fake screen. Run up the middle to Gibson for a, over a 10 yard gain. Great blocking by O line. Making that massive hole we see David Njoku on the out we saw the route developing there we're just driving down the field driving down we're just balling right now on third and goal we try and do a fullback dive the Chiefs would know about that play in the Super Bowl in this series but we can't so we got to settle for a field goal so we make it 31 to 7 let's go we are dominating and we get another stop this is what happens when you make an insane defense like we got our defense is, is insane. All right. Now, we got to settle for another field goal. And we make it. So, it is 34-7. to seven, And, you know, they get a touchdown, okay? There's less than four minutes to go, but anything could happen. Lamar. Oh, oh my goodness. That guy just went flying with the sidestep juke. Okay, Lamar scrambling out right again. Don't know where to go, so he's just going to run and slide for a nine-yard gain. He, that takes Lamar Jackson over 100 yards rushing for the game. Hits up the slant. Terry McLaurin, touchdown. Let's go. So, now, next drive is 41-21. We hit up that. And then, next play we drop back to pass C, Terry McLaurin on the crosser, and we're just going to score to add the cherry on top, you know, stat pad a bit, and that will get the job done. We win our fifth consecutive Super Bowl, 48 to 21. Uh, Chiefs walking out in disbelief. Well, they should have knew this was going to happen. With the San Antonio Express, the best franchise in the NFL easily but let's look at the stats from the end of the game Lamar played really good Gibson played really good and Lamar had over 100 rushing yards we had two guys over 100 rushing yards Gibson also had three touchdowns McLaurin two touchdowns uh, Henry Ruggs with the other one David Njoku 78 yards Terry McLaurin was the number one receiver there but we won the Super Bowl uh, be back for next episode. Make sure to like, subscribe, and do all that for me.